2K Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, is delighted to present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Falcon Open is about to begin. I'm Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam in the booth, and it's a hello to Henny Koyak down on the course following our featured group. Hi, Luke. I'm very happy to be following this featured group because there are rumours of a rivalry brewing between these two players. Well, Henny, it sounds like they're trying to beat young Will Zalatoris. I'm really looking forward to this matchup. Oh, as am I. Wiley Will found his way onto the tour in a very unusual manner, and he kept himself there. The pressure is not too much for him. He can handle anything. He's a fierce young man, a young man of the future, and, I mean, I don't think there's anything wrong with his game. Where can you beat him? Where can you see any of those defences? Uh, he's very confident, and as I said, Luke, he can take that pressure. Yeah, well, he might be slight in stature. I think he's 160 pounds ringing wet, but he's big on confidence and bold with his iron play. There is not a flag he won't fire at, so if you want to beat Will Zalatoris, you better go hole hunting. Setting up miles from the hole. This is what they have left for birdie here. Oh, just missed that one. Let's check in with our man on the ground, John McCarthy, for our course report. John, what will Foxhole Golf Links be serving the players this week? Well, Luke, I think Foxhole Golf Links is going to be serving up some birdies, maybe a side of eagle. Uh, the course really is right in front of these players, and what you see is what you get. Uh, not a whole lot of tricks to it, so I think people are going to be firing at these flags all week and uh, I'm going to sit back and enjoy that. Hopefully the folks at home will as well. Looks to be going with the four iron. A wonderful shot and a chance for Booty here at the second. This putt just five feet away from the hole. Better than most. Yeah, you like the look of that right off the blade. Now let's switch our attention to Will Zalatoris. Yeah, he needs to press on that gas pedal. He's two strokes back from his rival. Scorecard filled with threes never hurts. Good putt to make this. Oh, just missed. And after that effort, let's take a look at how it stands. Let's see what happens here at the third hole. It's fair to say that that approach didn't hit the mark. Missing it short there, they will definitely be upset. That one was going in. Very crafty, that shot. Great touch. Why don't we catch up with Will Zalatoris? Coming off a bogey on the last hole. So after that effort, let's take a look at the leaderboard. Tiger Woods back in his familiar spot, currently in the lead as we head to the next tee. 
Teeing off here at the fourth. <laughs> Looks like they put a good swing on that one. That should find the short stuff. Four victories so far this season. Well, that's certainly showcasing all their talents there. That's impressive. Two big hits there, knocking in on this par five and two. Chance to sneak into the top five here. <laughs> Terrific shot, almost an eagle. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. Here we are at the fifth hole of Foxhole uh, Golf Links. 424 par four from the tips. And only the really long players in the game are going to be able to fly those bunkers down the right-hand side. The shorter player is going to have to hit it out to the left-hand side with maybe not quite a driver. But from there, it's really just a flick of a second shot as this hole is just 424 yards. I'm thinking that every player is looking at this as a birdie opportunity. That was wonderfully done. Now let's switch our attention to Will Zalatoris. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. And he's down there. You got a read? Setting up this putt 25 feet from the cup. All right, guys. This for two birdies in a row. Appears to have overcooked this one. A seven-footer right here. Oh, nice-looking putt. Good putt, that. Currently a couple under for the event. Time to tee off at the sixth. That's some good golf right there. Rich, there's plenty of paths to the PGA Tour, but few seem to bash their way to the PGA Tour quicker than Will Zalatoris. It was an immediate impact he had, and uh, it's just such an exciting game he possesses. Watching him go from the Corn Ferry Tour and essentially <laughs> bypassing all of that fairly immediately with the three wins and getting onto the PJ Tour and having such a profound effect when he was out there really is quite astonishing. Without getting the win, but seemingly in contention each and every week out there, it's you feel the sky is the limit for what's going to happen with this young man. He is so disciplined in what he does in a round of golf. He's got a very, he's got a great mind in the way that he approaches the game and how he advances the golf ball to point A to point B. To point. He sees this golf course three shots in advance. It's just kind of like it's right there in front of him. He reminds me of an old school pool player. Who already, he's already made all the shots. Now he just has to go ahead and just sink the next one because he set himself up perfectly for the next one. It, it's, uh, it's impressive. 
Time to take a look at what this par four might be in order. This one looks to be heading for the sanctuary of the fairway. And they're playing from about 140 yards out. Just a couple back from our leader. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. Oh, this is on a fantastic line. Is it the right distance? Wow, what a shot. Already made a few birdies today, and this is another good look. A chance to move into the top ten on the leaderboard here. It was on a good line. Just a four-footer remaining. Don't want to miss it. Could be costly. Nice little par putt here. Why don't we catch up with Will Zalatoris? He's happy, just came off a birdie. Getting ready to play their third. Oh, that is brilliant. A bonus birdie. And that will move him up the leaderboard as well. Time to play one of the one-shotters. Well, that's comfortably on the dance floor. Well played. Wow. Showing Will Zalatoris that this rivalry is indeed not to be taken lightly. What an opportunity to make a birdie. I don't mind the look of this. Always nice to hold those for a birdie. She should be proud of that. Here comes the top ten. Trailing by a couple of strokes now. As we stride to the final hole of the outward half of Foxholm Golf Links, players will be licking their lips with this par five, measuring just over 500 yards. And yeah, this is a gift to end on. However, you've got to find the fairway really to give yourself the best opportunity. Players are not going to be able to fly those bunkers down the right-hand side, and if you hit it right of those, trees come into play. Bail out to the left, give yourself a long iron second shot into this massive green. Lots of runoff areas all around this green, but what a great opportunity to end this front nine with possibly an eagle three. No harm, no foul there with that shot. And this putt will take them to five under par. Okay, steady now. This putt is for a share of second. The putt drops, and that's back-to-back -back birdies. Back-to-back -back birdies move in the right direction there, Luke. Now let's switch our attention to Will Zalatoris. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? Oh, you've made it. What a play. So after that effort, let's take a look at the leaderboard. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. Always positive coming off a birdie. Let's see what happens here. They have put some hurt on that ball. Send it. Time for the second shot at the 10th.
Oh, I love that. Had the confidence to stand up there and try and drive the green and delivered. Definitely brave on that one, setting up a nice eagle opportunity, especially since they're one back of the lead. Terrific roll. It even had a chance. Why don't we catch up with Will Zalatoris? He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. Oh, what a great stroke. Oh, so close. And now we can take a look at how that play affects the leaderboard. And after a birdie at the last, they take the honour on the hole. And that should find the cut stuff. Well, Rich, this won't come as a big surprise, will it? Because there's a lot of people talking about this player. They've been performing beautifully all season. And many think they can win this event. Without a doubt, the best player all around on tour in my mind's eye it is no shock to see them contending for the lead once again well that's a great shot and a birdie opportunity coming up here at the 11th and they've been rolling the ball great today. Another great look. Oh, wouldn't that have been nice? Let's return to live play now. Eight feet to the cup. Looks good. Mark it down. That's six birdies today. And with that, she'll move to six under par. And she's our leader. In the 12th hole at Fox Home Golf Links is a strong par three measuring 216 off the back tees. Luke, this is by far the scariest shot on this golf course. The runoff area to the left is severe. That golf ball will definitely run back into the hazard unless they catch a fantastic break. Players are definitely be bailing out to the right, but make sure you come up short and right because you want no part of that green side bunker. Opting for the five wood. That was a beauty. What have they got in front of them here, Henny? Setting up this part 11 feet from the cup. Rolling end to end is looking nice. Oh, what a round this is. Seven birdies today. And with that, she'll move to seven under par. Incredible. It's time to begin this par four hole. Second shot here on the 13th. Oh, that was pure. Now let's switch our attention to Will Zalatoris. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? Chance to move to eight under here. 
Little birdie look in here. That was a gallant attempt. Well, yeah, it's a bit disappointing. Still in the lead now after that hole. Looking at a par five here. And after a par at the last, a chance to perhaps signal some intent. Well, that's a handy shot. Second shot here on the 14th hole. Going with the four iron here. Going for less club here. A big bold play and it almost paid off. Close to the surface, let's see if they can get it up and down. What a sensational play on this par five there, Luke. Wow, that almost went in the hole. Oh, this will be good for the momentum. Let's make this birdie putt. Yep, tracking well. Oh, that's a ripper. And with that, she'll move to eight under par. Awesome play. And there's no movement on the leaderboard after that hole. Oh, and they increase their lead. This is impressive, Luke, but can they hold up this play? I'm pretty sure this player will be buoyed by that birdie back at the last. Let's see if they can deliver another one. Opting for the 9-iron. Nine -nine. Oh, that was so close to going in. Seven feet to the cup. Looking for another birdie here. Ooh, right by the hole. This putt's about four feet from the hole. Nice line. Why don't we catch up with Will Zalatoris? He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. Come on, ball. Don't deny him. And how did that shot impact the score? Let's have a look at the leaderboard. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. Three holes remaining. This is what it's all about. Time to see who is going to get it done. Quality shot, that one. Taking aim from about 220 yards out. Currently in the lead by a shot. Looks like they've got the five wood. Come on, look after us. Little bounce to the right here. That was a bit of a miscue. Lots of greens and regulations today for this player, but not so on this occasion.
Well, you like the look of those hands. Judging it beautifully. Leading by a shot after that hole. Two holes to go, Luke. Can they hang on? Yeah, that'll work. That's fine. Now let's switch our attention to Will Zalatoris. He's feeling good. Just birdied the last hole. Oof. Nice little sand shot there. Came real close. And back to the course with the live action. Second shot here on the 17th hole. That chip in for Eagle works eight days a week in my book. And let's have one more look at that shot. Great feel, great judge, great speed. Yeah, I like this. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. Here they are, full of confidence on the next tee, coming off the eagle. Now oh, this one looks to be heading down the runway. Second shot here on the 18th hole. Opting for the four iron here. Pretty good shot there. She knows everything's on the line here. Get this putt to drop, and the event is hers. Hopefully they won't take that too badly. They've made it back in the winner's circle, Rich. Absolutely. All tournament long, they just played outstanding golf. Hats off to them. And Rich, I think you mentioned earlier that this player was your favorite. Well picked. Listen, I, it's not a hard pick, is it? This player has consistently been there all season long. There's no reason why not to pick them to win. They just make me look smart. That's about it. Well, that's all we've got time for today. On behalf of myself, Luke Elvey, Rich Bean, Henny Koyak, and John McCarthy, plus all the hardworking folks behind the action at 2K Sports, thanks for tuning in. Look forward to your company next time.